Peace and life family. I hope that you are well and happy and whole and all that good stuff. Let's talk about spells. My intention for this video is to explain exactly what a spell is, how and when a spell is used, and really just to like, you know, bust some myths about spells, you know, to share some things about spells so I hope you enjoy now let's get into it so a spell is a combination of words and sounds that are used with a specific intention again spells are a combination of words and sounds that are used with a specific intention and that intention is usually to influence or alter um, how energy manifests right so it can be used to bring in a certain energy to remove a certain energy to to influence how a energy shows up if you want to get real specific with your spell and your intention for using those words and sounds all of that good stuff so when we are talking about spells we are literally talking about the verbal aspect of manifestation that is what a spell is now it's very important to understand the power of the spell is in the intention that you are using the words and sounds there was a video that was released a while ago um, and I'm not sure of the person's name, but she's a white woman and she's talking about the power of words and how we have to be careful of what words we use because words are spells. Now, listen to what she said. She said, words are spells. So we need to be careful of what words we use because we're, we could be putting a spell out and don't know it, which I definitely understand what she was saying. Um, however, I feel like a lot of people misunderstood what she what what she was potentially saying because the term intention wasn't emphasized enough the key with a spell is the intention. What is your why behind using this words? What is your why behind using this sound? What is your why behind using these words and sounds in combination? What is the energy that you are putting out? How are you trying to influence the energy that is coming to you or that you are removing? What is your purpose? What is your intention of saying these things, right? That is where the true power of a spell comes from. So in that specific video she gave, uh, the primary example that's the most known and most talked about is the example of good morning um, and people you know have now run with you know we can't say good morning because when we say morning we can it, it means morning as in dead so not morning as in sunrise but morning as in dead so you're speaking death upon your life and you're saying it's good to be morning it's good for death and all of that and you know I understand how people got to that point however there's a big difference between spells and homophones okay Okay, um, and, and you know, we can talk about the etymology of words and all of that, but the key thing is with a spell is the intention behind using the word. Um, what I always tell people is, you know, when you are saying good morning to someone, your intention of using those words is what will manifest. The words really don't even matter. The words are simply a combination of sounds. It's about the intention that comes first, the intention of you saying this. You know, somebody could say, uh, uh, God bless you, have a blessed day, and they can have a bunch of different intentions. And how you receive that and how that manifests in your life is based on the intention that it was spoken with, right? So somebody could be like, have a blessed day, have a blessed day. You know, those are two very different intentions that are portrayed just in how you said it, you know? So, um, with the whole like good morning thing and specifically with that video and the words are spells, you know, phenomenon that's happening that's causing people to tread very lightly on what they say. I do think a positive side of that is it is causing mindfulness. It is causing more people to be mindful about what they say because there is power in the tongue. However, we have lost focus away from intention. Saying good morning is not bringing death to you, right? Um, it's, it's like the, the, the comparison I always make to people, I said, so a mother can't say, oh, the sun is rising because if she says the sun is rising, that means that her baby gonna wake up. Like, what are you really saying? Like, let's let's really push our logic here. So we can't say good morning because morning and morning, um, you know, sound alike. And it could, it has similar etymologies, but sun and sun, baby sun, same thing, right? So you can't say the sun is rising because then the sun is going. I can't say pour me a drink because then you devalue the drink because you saying you pour 
a drink and then poor devalues because if you are poor, you are without value. So don't say pour me a drink. You see how it kind of like gets like, what? You know, that's that we're, we're putting too much power in the sound as opposed into the intention that things are used. So just be very mindful about like, hearing um certain certain things and just kind of like running with it really research really push your logic um and and you know really just like don't just take everything for face value again i think that video was very important because it did push mindfulness about what you say but i do feel like a drawback was it moved us away from understanding the power of intention the key with a spell is the intention and what you are saying. So when someone says good morning, you don't have to be like, oh no, don't say that because you know, red fish, two fish, one fish, blue fish. You know, you don't have to. Uh, understand that their intention is for you to have a good day. So for me, when I'm greeting someone, I'll say good morning, grand rising, blessed day, or whatever makes you feel good. Whatever brings you wellness, because my intention is to bring you wellness and to make you feel good in this moment. So whatever makes you feel good, I'm giving that to you. I'm sprinkling you with some of that this morning. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like really, really think about that. Again, the focus is on the intention. The intention is where the power lies. So spells are a combination of words and sounds that are used with a specific intention. And the most common form of spells are prayers. Prayers run across religions, faith, spiritual practices. Um, those are spells, right? So you're using words and sounds with a specific intention. In the Christian faith, they use uh, uh, the intention when they want to remove an energy is to, I bind that in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. They are literally removing a specific intent, uh, a specific energy. Their intention is to remove an energy or to reject an energy. It's like a protection spell. When they say, I am covered in the blood of Jesus, that is a protection spell. You're saying these words with the intention to protect yourself. You know, uh, keep me near the cross. That is a, a peace, uh, you know, a, a, a peace intention, a, a spell for peace, because you're asking to be kept near, to be kept close, to be protected and bring you peace. All of those are spells, right? So you have prayers is a very common form of spells. Uh, and, and when I think about, you know, people using words and sounds with intention, let's think about the act of speaking in tongues. Tongues are a combination of sounds. It's a language of sorts within the Christian faith um, and in certain denominations in the Christian faith where certain sounds are used in order to elicit a certain energy. And you don't know really what energy you're eliciting. You just know eliciting. You just know that it's the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Okay. <laughs> um, so that is a spell that is an example of using sounds with a specific intention in order to attract a certain energy or remove a certain energy prayers are two spells another example of spell work is chanting and utilizing mantras and that can be done within the hindu faith within the buddhist faith during yoga meditation and all that stuff when you are chanting i am mantras you are saying words with the intention of attracting an energy to you i am well i am peace i am light i I am joy that is saying words in order to attract a certain energy to you that is spell work i also think about within yoga and meditation when we do um right um the intention is to bring in a certain energy to balance you out to bring in peace and love and become one and connected with god that is the the intention namaste namaste is a word that is used in order to greet people to say hello um i bring you light i bring you peace i bring you joy i bring you love namaste i see you you see me i am you you am me uh our indian brothers and sisters are like it just means hello you know, y'all put all this deep in depth. It's just how we say hello. Um, but then you go, you have the yoga community, you know, the yogis who have various uh, intentions when they say this word, which again, brings me back to the whole myth of, you know, don't be careful what you say because you don't really know what you're saying. It's about the intention of how you're using it. So a word like namaste, where, you know, the, the origin, the people whom it comes from are like, y'all, it just means hello. It ain't that deep, you know, and then, but the yogi community side, it's like, no, it is that deep because it means I am you and you are me. We are one. It means connect with God. It means this. It means that. Really, this is just a word. 
how you use it and the intention that you use it is what determines the energy that attracts to you. But nonetheless, that is spell work. So these are just examples of how spell work is done outside of what people imagine, right? Oftentimes people hear spells and they think of witchcraft. They think of someone sitting with a candle um, in a voodoo doll and doing spells and all that all over you. That's not always what spells are. Anytime you speak and you have an intention behind what you say, you are doing spell work. As you can see by those examples, there is no set time of when to do spell work, right? We are all doing spell work all throughout the day. If you are a person who speaks with intention, you think about what you have to say, you are mindful about what you have to say, and you align your intention with your words, you are doing spell work all throughout the day. You know, you are putting an energy out. You are attracting certain energies by what you say with purpose. You know, it's about speaking with purpose. All of that is spell work. Um, so overall, when it comes to when you should do spell work every day, all day, that is when you should do it. And I just advise that you be mindful about your intention when you speak. Um, what energy are you trying to attract? Are you trying to do a protection spell? Are you doing a love spell? Are you um, do, doing an empowerment spell, a peace spell? What energy are you attracting with these words? What energy are you removing with these words? So really, if we are being mindful and we are speaking with intention, again, we're doing spell work anytime we do that. But I think to take it a step further, it's about really like honoring that intention and labeling that intention before the words leave your mouth. I always respect people who think about, like truly think about what they're going to say before they say it. Um, you have to be mindful of people who are quick to respond, quick to respond, quick to respond um, it, when they're in conversation. And a lot of people feel this pressure. I too work through feeling that pressure because I realize that those awkward moments of silence are uncomfortable for people. But um, I honor those who have the patience to converse with intention where they meet, there may be moments of silence. A question could be asked and you take a moment to ponder and you speak with intention when you do speak. Um, I honor those people who can hold conversations in that light because we have a clear understanding that these words have power. You know, the power of the tongue. These words have power. These words are spells. What I'm about to say is coming with an intention and an energy and I'm being mindful about the intention that I am speaking them with. So again, there is no specific time or day where spell work should be done. We are doing spell work all throughout the day. It's just about, are you mindful of it? Are you aware of it? Are you being uh, uh, cognizant of the spell work that you are doing? Every time you speak, you are speaking spells. And going back to the video, I think that, you know, that is what the, the, the woman was trying to say. That is the point that I took away from it, where she was just basically say, be, saying, be mindful about the intention of when you say something like, don't just say good morning. What is your intention? Be mindful and speak it with love and with light um, as opposed to you don't have to run from the word morning out of fear. That is not the point. It's about be aware that there are multiple forms of mourning. Be aware that there are multiple forms of the word or versions of the word poor. So when you say poor and you say, or you say pour me a drink or pour me something, just be well intentioned. Be aware of the energy that you are putting out before you speak the word. Don't just move out of habit, which a lot of us do. So overall, spell work is done all throughout the day. Just elevate your intention and your awareness of the intention before you speak those spells. Now to elevate your spell work, you can use a combination of tools and those tools can be candles. It can be oils and resins and herbs that are used for smudging. Um, it can be a multitude of things, right? Uh, these tools help elevate your intention and bring more power to your intention, right? So you, you will burn the candle. You can burn the oils and the herbs and the resins and smudge the space. You can have healing crystals and stones with you. You can have certain uh, other things. Uh, you know, that, that, that can 
be used in combination with your spell work. You know, uh, and, and the, again, the intention is just to elevate the power of, of what you're saying and to elevate the power of your intention and to attract or remove the energy much more quickly, to manifest the energy much more quickly, right? So when people think about spells and pe someone doing spell work, they don't think about the everyday conversation. They often think about someone sitting at an altar or uh, a group of people sitting in a circle and doing a seance, right? That's what they think about. And although we're all doing spell work throughout the day, those are elevated forms of doing spell work. You know, meditation is an elevated form of doing spell work because you're sitting and you're focusing on your intention and you're speaking these words with intention. You're doing your mantras, you're doing your chanting with intention and you are focused, you are tuned in, you are aligning your chakras, you are sitting in position. So that is also another form of elevated spell work, right? Of elevated magic. So the spell would just be the actual intention pit with the words, but to elevate it, you can use other practices in order to elevate that spell work, to uplift it and put more power into that spell work. What's very important to be mindful of when doing spell work is karma. Always remember that the energy you put out is the energy that you will attract. Um, I think about the documentary Roots to Heaven, uh, Voodoo, Roots to Heaven. It's a documentary that's available on Amazon Prime, I believe, um, Or, but you can just Google it. If you Google the documentary, it will tell you exactly what streaming platforms you can watch it, whether if it's free and how much. You can literally Google type Roots to Heaven, Voodoo, and it will come up. Um, and you, t you click on, it'll say watch, and you can click on watch, and it'll tell you exactly where you can watch it but in this documentary they talk about you know within the voodoo practice doing spells and doing magic they are very mindful of what they do because that energy comes back to you and that is karma I feel like oftentimes people pick and choose when they want karma to apply. Um, folks have no problem saying oh I'll put somebody in a jar I'll you know don't make me do this do that Whatever you do to someone else is going to come back to you one way or another. When doing spell work, you want to be mindful of not putting out negative energy. Do not put out negative energy because that energy will come back to you. And I understand you may feel like you have reason and you have cause to put someone in the jar or to say negative things and to, you know, do as they have all different kinds of like shut up spells and all kind of stuff to shut somebody up. Be mindful that that energy is going to come back to you. And I don't I don't think we think about that enough um it's almost like you know the boomerang effect like be mindful of what you say to someone because again that energy will come back to you so that is a disclaimer i will give with spell work just know that what you say and what you do that intention is where the power lies and that intention is going to be returned to you abundantly okay so think about that right think about the words and the spells that you put on people how you talk about people, how you talk to people, because how you made them feel is how you too will feel. How you made them suffer is how you too will suffer. How you made them hurt is how you too will hurt. And it may not sound exactly how it sound when you did it or you said it, but the intention is what will come back to you. That is karma. So please mind your karma with your spell work. Don't just go out here and feel like, oh, I know I, I, I'm going to do a spell. I'm going to do some magic on you um, and feel like you have this power without being aware of how the power works. Karma is real. Mind your karma, mind your intentions, mind your spells. Now, when it comes to how to do spell work, please understand that there are multiple spell books out here that have various origins, um, prayer books that have various origins, Odu books uh, for anybody who is into Ifa, African spirituality, Odu books that have various origins. Always research the authors, research uh, that, that specific author's beliefs and personal life because, again, it's about the intention. Attention. So you want to be mindful of what you are saying and what you are doing uh, before you say and do it. But also know that you have the power to create your own spells, right? To create your own prayers, to create your own odus in a sense, right? Um, so what you really want to do is just going back to being mindful about what you say, but write it down. Write down these combination of words and sounds and your intentions. Meditate with them. Chant with them. Um, sometimes when I'm meditating, I have like specific sounds that I'll 
use or chants that I'll use um, that bring or carry a certain intention. And these are meditations or things I've been doing for years, for years, right? So you just really want to be mindful um, about, you know, the words and the sounds and the intentions that you use, but you can create your own spells in that way. Just write them down, write down what you want to say, write down what your intention is. And really, as you write down, write down the intention first. And when you write down the intention, sit, breathe, meditate on it. What sound comes to you when you think of that intention? What sound comes to you? What words come to you? And just chant that over and over and over and over and over. And that energy will attract to you. You know, that is your own personal spell. That is your own personal chant, you know, and do what feels right for you. You know, that that's really what it's about. So you can get spell books, you can get Odoo books, you can get prayer books and all that stuff. Um, you can do um, you can, you know, chant whatever feels right for you that comes from other places, but you also have the power to create your own work. I hope you enjoyed this video family and I hope that it helps. Please leave your comments below. How do you feel about spell work? What are some of your favorite prayers and spells and odus, whether if it's a book or any recommendations you have for anyone else to be able to use? I love y'all and I will talk to y'all soon. Peace.